There may be times when you want or even need to monitor the sound through headphones instead of your monitors. If you're working on a project late at night and you don't want to annoy your neighbours for example, or just to hear your mix through closed back headphones for a different sound perspective, choosing the right headphones for monitoring and mixing is just as important as choosing speaker monitors in that they have to produce a neutral sound so that what you hear is exactly what you get. I'd always go for closed back headphones for mixing and monitoring purposes. Closed back basically means that the headphones block out external sounds, which is what's often required in a studio environment. For example, a vocalist would use closed back headphones while laying down the vocal track. The headphones will allow the vocalist to hear back the track along with their vocals in the headphones while singing. And because they're closed back, little to no sound will escape from the headphones and get picked up by the microphone. It also means that the vocalist will only hear their voice coming in through the headphones and not their voice seeping in through the room. There are plenty of mates and models of high quality studio grade closed back headphones and over the years I've tried quite a few, but I've recently settled on the Bayer Dynamic brand and more specifically the DT1770 Pros. They cost around £400, but what you get for that is a jaw-dropping soundstage and a beautifully crafted soundscape, not to mention the vast frequency range, which you just don't get with cheaper headphones. The core idea behind the DT1770 Pros is the Tesla technology, which is a means of increasing the magnetic flux across the drivers and the transducers are more sensitive with a greater dynamic range as they're more responsive to the incoming signal. They cost a bit more because they require a high level of engineering expertise and a more stringent manufacturing process. For the record, forget the Beats by Dre headphones. I know they make headphones that cost around £300 and while they might look pretty and colourful hanging on the fancy stands at your local Apple store or on the heads of famous pop stars in their videos, they just don't cut it with real audio files or in recording studio environment and they're certainly no match when compared to the likes of Bayer Dynamic. Beats headphones and most other domestic headphones are sonically enhanced, meaning they aren't flat, which basically means they're next door to useless for any kind of studio mixing purposes. And don't be fooled by the use of the word studio that some of these domestic headphone brands often stick in the title. Just because it has the word studio on the box doesn't necessarily mean that they're any good for studio use or that they're actually any good at all. It's just a buzzword that some mainstream headphone brands use for marketing purposes. In fact, the only budget headphones I've ever used that came close to the Bayer Dynamic DT1770 Pros are actually Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pros, which cost around £125. The DT770 Pros are about as close to the 1770 Pros as you can get. Perhaps the detail in the treble isn't quite as crisp and clear and the bass is perhaps a trifle heavy compared to the 1770 Pros, but they really are pretty close. And they'll certainly sound way better than most other brands costing two or three times the price. But if you can stretch an extra £250, I'd look no further than the DT1770s. Otherwise, at £125, it's the Bayer DT770 Pros all day long. The Bayer Dynamic DT1770 Pros that I use are studio grade monitoring headphones that reveal every ounce that the music has to offer and as cleanly and accurately as possible. The frequency response of these headphones is massive with an incredibly low 5Hz up to a whopping 40,000Hz with an impedance of 250. This really is an incredible frequency range if you consider that most humans can only physically hear frequencies down to about 20Hz and not above 20,000 hertz anyway. In fact, your dog would have to wear these headphones to fully appreciate the upper frequency range. That's how good they are. As for the build quality, well, they certainly feel like they're built to withstand the rigors of daily professional studio use. Even the cable is of the detachable mini XLR socket type, so it can be replaced if necessary. Not that I see the cable perishing anytime soon, because the two cables that come with the 1770s, one coiled and one straight, are the toughest headphone cables I've ever seen. The sounds that come out of the 1770s can be described as phenomenal, with that huge frequency response and the natural crisp and clear sound, absolutely every nuance of the music comes through. The amazing thing about the DT170 Pros is that every musical range stands out on its own 
without getting muddled into the next range up. For example, the bass is deep and powerful and yet there's a clear distinction with the mids while the crystal clear treble sits nicely on top. It's just so easy to hear the mids in these headphones regardless of musical style.